Question 2. How effective is the combination of your main product and ancillary texts? For my A2 level coursework, I produced an indie genre music video for Demographics original single Dance Floor Consumer. I followed this up by using Synergy to promote my band's products. The products consist of a digipack for the album, including the backstage footage and official music video for Dance Floor Consumer, and a promotional poster for the band's album release. Our target audience consists of 60% males and 40% females between the ages of 16 to 25 years old. Within this video I will discuss how I use micro elements such as mise-en-scene and generic codes and conventions within the combination of my main product, Digipack and my promotional poster to effectively allow me to promote my band as commercial exhibitionists. Sven E. Carlson, 1999, so they are represented as a sellable commodity. I use various aspects of mise-en-scene when producing my music video, and I use these same aspects through my ancillary products also to create continuity and a house style for demographic. These micro-elements were used to reflect my subculture and sub-genres, Dick Heb Hebdige, 1979, and Grant, 1995 which would attract my target audience. Sarah Thornton said in 1995 that music videos include subcultural capital as part of their language in order to attract the audience in the form of iconography and also includes mise-en-scene that reflects the genre. I agree with this theory as this is, ex this is exactly what I incorporated when producing my products. Our subculture was indie rockers. We reflected this culture in a theme in our products. We learnt a great deal about our target audience by not only researching the subcultures of the indie genre, but by creating an imaginary entity, Yen Ang, 1991. O'Sullivan et al, 1998, discusses how ideologies produce partial and selective views of reality. We created this verisimilitude by connoting the theme of sex, drugs and rock and roll through micro-elements in my ancillary products and our narrative scenes of our hybrid video. For example, we denoted the rock aspect of the theme in our performance scenes by showing the band perform with their instruments in fast-paced jump cuts of close-up shots and medium shots that went along to the beat of the song. This is a code and convention of music videos, music matching the visuals. We represented the drugs aspect in our narrative scenes through cigarettes and alcohol, as this also tied in with the lyrics in the song. Well, you haven't seen much boozing around. This is also an extremely hegemonic representation as it is typical of our subculture to go out and get drunk. We denoted the sex aspect through our anti-hero character who took on a promiscuous, promiscuous role by having relations with all three band members and then the lead band member, Billy Marsden, at the end of the video. She played a dominating, attractive female role who acted as a male gaze, Mulvey 1995. By doing this, we represented extremely hege hege hegemonic ideologies as the mise-en-scene we used, such as clothing, or should I say lack of, and makeup allowed us to attract the 60% male audience we had as they would see her as an ideal partner, Rogers 1980. The clothing we dressed her in consisted of a leather skirt, a red dress and high heels, and also a red silk dressing gown. However, we also use pluralist, pluralist ideas such as having her as a, an extremely dominating character who was using these hegemonic ideologies to her advantage of getting what she wants out of men. Even though she is playing a folk devil slash moral panic, this would still attract our 40% female audience as they would see her as a role model and an, ad, and an ideal self, Rogers 1980. My ancillary products work together with my music video to create synergy. This is also horizontal integration as I am using the advertisement to advertise the digipack and the music video was included on the digipack. They all work together as products of the band that are representing the band and all work together to attract the audience and to sell. They all include the same house style such as black and white and red 
I took a print screen of a medium, medium close-up shot of our anti-hero from the music video. I converted this into a JPEG, which I could then use in my digipack to create continuity and synergy. This attracts the audience as they will know they have seen the image before and relate it to the band in the music video. I also used a smoke underlay on the back cover of my digipack. I also used this as the background for my advertisement. This not only creates continuity but also has connotations of the sex, drugs and rock and roll theme. The images throughout my ancillaries are also all in high contrast to black and white to create continuity. This is a part of the band's product's house style. It also is a very hegemonic theme of the indie genre as it is a convention of indie videos for products to be in black and white as it shows they are homemade and cheap to make. I used an image of our anti-hero's red lips on the digipack to, continu con to continue to represent her promiscuity as you see that image constantly throughout the music video. Although all the images are edited in high contrast black and white throughout the products, I have edited two of the images, one of Maddie in a medium close-up shot from behind, which I print screened from the music video, and one of her lips, to be in black and white, except from in the first one, the red silk dressing gown, and the second one of her red lips. I left them both red and heightened the contrast again dramatically to attract the audience's attention and also the connotations of red are promis pr promiscuity, lust and love as part of the house style. It also ties in with our theme.